Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Earth and Life Science which is all about the four subsystems of Earth. This will be the first quarter topic and week one. This lesson is under the milk based. Subsystem is defined as a small system contained in a bigger or broader one, just like the human body. The earth consists of systems that coexist and interact in one way or another. The four subsystems of earth include the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. The natural interactions that exist among these subsystems make life possible on this earth. In this lesson, you will learn about the features of each of the subsystems and explain that earth coexists of these four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flow. The four subsystems of the earth interact with each other in countless ways. The water in the lake touches the rock underneath. In the process of time, such rocks will be subjected to lithification due to the action of water. Solar energy converts liquid water into water vapor that forms clouds. During precipitation, water returns to lake. Life perpetuates due to these interactions. In this scenario alone, we could picture out the interaction among the lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. The following are the four subsystems of Earth. The first one is the geosphere. It is a solid sphere of the Earth. This is where different geologic processes such as volcanic activity, mountain building, and other geologic activities take place. The lithosphere is a part of the geosphere that is composed of solid, outermost part of the planet. It is where the tectonic plates that move are found, causing the ground to move through vibrations of energy from the mantle. Another Earth subsystem is the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is composed of all waters on Earth, such as liquid water found in oceans, lakes, and streams, polar ice which is solid in form, and water vapor that results from evaporation of liquid water. Earth is sometimes called a blue planet due to the presence of the liquid water. Oceans occupy almost 71% of the Earth's water. The other fractions are distributed as polar ice and water vapor. Energy from the sun reaches the ocean water unevenly due to the difference in the angle of the sun rays across different portions of the earth. This causes the difference in ocean temperature. Specifically, the ocean water near the equator is warm while the ocean water near the poles is cold. The difference in the temperature of the planet's water leads to the difference in density which causes water to move through convection. The movement of matter as a result of the difference in density is called the convection current, which distributes energy in the ocean. Another subsystem of the Earth is the biosphere. The biosphere encompasses all life forms on Earth from the smallest phytoplankton to the biggest mushroom. Organisms comprising the simplest cyanobacteria to the complex eukaryotes adapt to their natural environment leading to survival. Even in extreme conditions such as extreme heat and the absence of water, some unique plants and animals strive to their evolutionary characteristics. The atmosphere is filled with life in the form of Philippine eagle, monarch butterfly, vampire bat, 
peregrine falcons and some flying insects. The hydrosphere is teeming with life as well as just like the blue whale, the orca, the starfish, and the sea cow. Most of the organisms on earth are found in water. Most of the deep oceans are still uncharted where a host of organisms are yet to be discovered. The lithosphere abounds with life in the forms of lush forest and variability of life forms like the pygmy marmoset, Asian elephant, gerboa, and ostrich. The main source of energy for all life forms is the sun. Through photosynthesis, producer manufacture food to produce carbohydrates. The producers or autotrophs are consumed by the consumers in a food chain. A series of food chains comprises a food web. This illustrates that matter and energy flow within the system. An interlinking food chain is called the food web. The constant flow of energy on earth is what allows life to perpetuate. And the last subsystem of the Earth is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is the gaseous part of the Earth composed of several trace gases necessary to support the existence of all living components such as plants and animals. The atmosphere is divided into layers according to differences in the patterns of temperature as one goes to the higher altitude. From the bottom, these are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. Through the atmosphere may be a very thin layer of the earth when compared to the earth's interior. It plays a vital role in maintaining the planet's temperature. It acts as a thermostat. Ozone molecules in the stratosphere absorb high energy radiation through photodissociation. Weathers of course in the troposphere, atmosphere plays a role in withering of rocks making the earth's dynamic. The sun unevenly heats the air, which leads to the movement of air molecules. Cold air sinks at bottom of the atmosphere, where most life forms are found. This is due to its high density. Hot air, on the other hand, rises due to its low density. This movement distributes energy in the atmosphere. It is the movement of air in the atmosphere that causes weather and climate.